And welcome back. We are back here again with the kelp farm and the furnace little processing room here. Um, I left this on overnight and uh, boy, the kelp has accumulated. I have a lot of kelp, which is great. Um, and the furnaces have been churning away and have been cooking up lots of dried kelp, which is wonderful. But what I'm noticing is that the furnace is uh, not keeping up with the kelp production. That's that's good news. I'm producing a lot of kelp. Um, the problem is I need more capacity. Uh, that's That means like the ability to do a lot at once. Um, so I need more furnaces going at the same time. Even though I have had these going full time, two furnaces are not quite enough to keep up with the output of the farm so that is definitely on the list for future improvements uh, but for now i'm just kind of tucking all these uh, blocks away i've gotten a nice um, stockpile of them but what i'm doing today is i'm collecting buckets for kind of a funny project that occurred to me that i wanted to do um, one of the new features in 1.13 is the ability to uh, go fishing, not with fishing rod, but with buckets. And I'll show you um, how that is done in the tropical area. Um, just like in real life, the tropics are the location for a wide diversity of fish types. Tropical fish come in a big, um, I think there's like 30 different kinds in Minecraft. Of course, there's thousands of kinds in real life. Um, but I am going to go up there. Also wanted to show, go out there and collect some fish. Also wanted to show you this um, progress. I have sort of moved the... Remember how the storage was in an L, kind of a right angle like this, a, a straight line going across like that? I pushed all the chests back. I Well, I didn't push them. I replaced them in this kind of arrow shape which gives me better access to the sides of them. So instead of always knocking into the item frames like I was doing, um, I can just hit the sides of the um, chest, which is much easier. Also added a little water column going up to the portal level. I should probably sleep before uh, I do anything else. And then I'm going to head off to the tropics and we can do some bucket fishing. And um, I have a good idea for a fish tank, which, um, yeah, I think it'll be neat. And before I go, I thought I'd give you this overhead view of kind of what I was talking about there. Um, kind of pushed everything back and gave myself a little bit more room. Uh, and also gave myself a little splash down area from that level so I don't have to just crash in there. Um, but yeah, I also thought to bring the map with me here. Um, let me see. Yeah, there you go. Uh, I think where we're going is down here. It is the Mesa area next to a coral reef. Um, but I thought that maybe on my way back, I would do some exploring and fill in the map. Just in case, thought I'd bring the map with me. And I got to make more of a floor there. So, yeah, on my way um, down to the southeast uh, down there. So I'll see you there. All right, yeah, here we are. We are down in the southeast. It was kind of a long walk, even in the nether. I'm glad we at least have the nether tunnel, so I don't have to do it in the overworld. But yeah, this is um, back where we were a while ago. And I'm going to go in there with a bucket, and hopefully we can find some fish. And uh, yes, dolphin here, not going to fit into my bucket but thank you for volunteering whoa that's right you give me your boost your dolphin's grace it's so cool all right so let's see if i can grab this i think first you have to have actual water buckets so i'm going to fill a few of these with water and then put them in my uh hot bar there and make sure that i don't run out of air myself so yeah let's see if we can get one of each there's a purple one and uh, you can get a pink one. Yes, I know one of you is going, ooh, pink, ooh, pink. At least one of you. Um, both of my viewers uh, uh, enjoy the color pink, but one of them especially. <laughs> but what a beautiful biome here. 
to, oh, that's a puffer fish. Yikes. Forgot about you. Yikes. All right. So he's poisonous. I don't know if you noticed that. He gets all big when you get close to him. Let's see if I can grab him. Grab him. Grab him. Yes, I got him. Okay. Yeah, he gets little spikes. If you uh, aren't careful, you can get poisoned, which I did. Although, it's not too bad. Really. I think that's another puffer fish there. Better be careful. Didn't realize. Oh, there's some more pink fish. I got one of those already. I'm going to try to get no duplicates if I can. I think there are, yeah, I want to say like 30 different kinds. Here's some random floating. I imagine I was doing some mining here. Um, hmm, let's see. Keep looking around. Oh, I wish that dolphin would come back. Give me his uh, little speed boost. There we go. Get some air. Come back up. How many do I have so far? Just five. All right, I have yeah, quite a bit more room. Let me move these out of my uh, hot bar. Save those so I don't, don't, by mistake, dump them back in the ocean. They'll be well taken care of. Don't worry. Don't worry. It's okay. We're going to take good care of them. Just going to put them in a place where they won't get hurt. Hehe. <laughs> I hope. Anyway, let's see. Got, got one of your these purple guys. Keep looking around. Hmm. These guys. Hello. 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 Ah, more pink guys. Do, 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 do. So fun. Let's see. Oh, there's a there's a shipwreck. Let's go. Let's go get some treasure. I'm pretty sure I haven't explored this one. Let's see. Get my axe out. Hmm. Have I? Pirate treasure. Get some booty. Ooh, yeah, here we go. Eh, nothing too exciting. This isn't the good chest. There's usually one good chest. I should probably break. I don't know. I'll just leave it for now. Um, there's one good chest and then one sort of medium one. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's the good one. Some emeralds and lapis. Hopefully, I'm not running out of air while I'm looting all this stuff. Should be good. Yeah, I'm good on bubbles. And a chest. Oh, don't even have room for the chest. Here, I'll get rid of that. And let's see if I can get my, my way out of here. Is there a third chest? I think there might be a third chest somewhere. I'll get some air first. Hmm. Meanwhile, any fish around? Hello? Hello? Ah. I'll just let the camera be still for a second. Let you enjoy the calm peaceful ocean they did a really nice job uh, again I think I'm having a hard time figuring out good ways of using these blocks in my builds but they sure do add a lot of flavor to this ocean area it's kind of nice I should probably uh, be getting some squid ink while I'm out here because black ink oh here's some more fish over here good here we go Hello, fish. I don't think I have one of you. Or one of you. And, yeah, just got one of you. Oh, and now I'm drowning. No big deal. <laughs> Luckily, you can eat steak right in the middle of the ocean. And it's no that's, that's how you get better after drowning. Pro tip, when you're going swimming, if you think you might be drowning, take some steak with you. And then if you do start to drown, just eat some steak and you'll feel all better. Um, that's a pro survival tip for real life situations as well. So good to know, just in case you're ever wondering of, oh, let's see, man, I, I think I will, oh, maybe I, is that the pink one already? Hmm, it's getting dark. Let's go sleep. Let's go sleep next to the zombie. Now we'll go over here. Boy, they didn't waste any time making monsters in the dark. We'll be okay. No problem. We'll sleep over here. They'll give us enough space, hopefully. I did actually bring my looting sword with the idea of doing some ender pearl hunting. So I might actually do some of that while I'm over here. Um, yeah, I think maybe I'll, I'll uh, stop recording for a second or two. And um, maybe do a little bit more bucket fishing. And maybe when once night comes again, I'll hang out here 
and uh, hope that I can see some Endermen appear um, out in the, the plains here and uh, maybe I'll set up a little shelter. So yeah, I'll take a break here. All right, and now we are here. Uh, I did do some more collecting of fish. I think I got uh, full bucket loads of fish um, with not too many duplicates. And now I'm just hanging out at night, sort of waiting for Endermen to come around, enjoying the use of my uh, Infinity Flame Bow for a little target practice. And um, the practical use of clearing out these things that are not Endermen, because there's a certain number of hostile mobs. Those are mo you know monsters that will attack you, um, that can spawn within a certain range of you. And if you can clear out the things that you don't want, that gives the chance for the things that you do want, which are the Endermen, um, to come around. Um, of course, I haven't seen any of them yet, but I'll just run around. At, at very least, you get a little bit of a uh, gunpowder out of this. Um, but just a lot of zombies, pretty much. So we'll see if we get lucky and find some Endermen. And, but uh, yeah, a little target practice never hurt either. So we'll see if we can convince some Endermen to show up to my little nighttime archery party. No, 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 not a spider, but thank you for your string. Appreciate it. First Enderman spotted. Okay, let's see if I can convince him to come, come over here, run back to my little hidey hole here. Will he jump across the ocean? I'm hoping he will teleport, right? Come on over, buddy. Come on over. Oh, you're not scared of the water, are you? Just a little water. Do I have to go over there? Oh boy. All right. Seriously, I come over here and now you jump over there. Will you come back over here now? I have a little roof set up for you. Come on. Uh, well, he won't come in the water after me, but I'm close enough. I can pop him a few times. Come on, give me your precious pearls. Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. He fell from fall damage, so I didn't even... Mm, the looting sword didn't have any effect. Darn. Well, one down, zero pearls. Leave that guy. Mm. Come on. Get it. Oh. Yep, just clearing out the dudes. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yay. All right. Two. All right. And Dawn breaks two pearls at the very last second. But, uh, hey, that's better than nothing. And, um, ooh, little baby, little baby zombie over there. Oh, good. He's burning. All right. Well, back home with my buckets of fish, and I'll show you what my plans are for them. Okay, back home, and I have my all the fish that I got all safely tucked away in my ender chest, which I carried with me and then picked up using my silk touch, of course. Um, but let's look through what we have, see how many duplicates we have. But uh, yeah, that was kind of fun. Uh, yellow tang, parrotfish, tomato clownfish, normal count clownfish, dotty back. Cotton candy, beta, goatfish, puffet, pufferfish. Oh, I gotta be careful of that one. Um, and the cichlid, normal cod, black tang, queen angle, angelfish, uh, red lipped blenny. I love these names. Black tang, goatfish. Didn't get any duplicates. Wow. All right. So you may be wondering why? Why do I want all these fish? Well, it occurred to me that we have a ready-made fish tank, nice aquarium right here comes with an auto feeding see there goes the fish food right there so we can just let these guys hang out in here and i think they should be just fine for i'm gonna wait on the puffer fish um but yeah they i think that they will i, I they I, they shouldn't flow over the edge at least i hope not uh, i guess we'll find out um they seem to be kind of clustering together for now in a little school of fish, like fish do, you know? Regular cod. Okay, you, you can hang out with the tropical fish as well. And then there's the puffer fish. He actually gets bigger once you get close to him. Check this out, ready? You get close to him, and you 
gets see there you go <laughs> so then if you get too close to him then he uh he poisons you but yeah we'll see how long these guys hang out here i thought that would add kind of a neat little <laughs> little detail to this let's see if i can uh see them from down here still have the turtle he hasn't gone anywhere yeah totally you can see them um so we could name those guys too uh if you guys think of any good names we have a whole bunch of them i i don't know how many empty buckets we have now. Uh, let's see. Five plus two is seven plus eight. Seven plus eight. Quick, quick. Fifteen. Um, so, yeah, at least 15 new fish in there. Oh, no, I guess that one was probably a fish, too. So maybe 16. Yeah. So that is it. I think I'm going to leave it there. Uh, very important progress. Can't believe we had gone that long without having a proper fish tank. I mean, that's one of the basics in survival Minecraft, right? It's like enchanting table, fish tank, right? Or at least it should be. Um, but yeah, a little progress. You know, I feel like this is uh, maybe a better setup. Starting to feel like this is something I could work with and then kind of extend a little bit of a building out here. I've been doing some work in creative also, kind of trying to make some plans for some building ideas. So uh, I guess that's it for now. Um, you know, I guess the message here is don't forget to have a little fun. Don't, you know, don't concentrate on all the, uh, the grindy stuff. You can do some things just because it's kind of fun. Uh, right? Okay. I'll leave it there. Until next time, I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.